Praise God. Amen. God is an awesome God. Amen. And God is a good God. Amen. You will not fail. Amen. You will not fail. I will not fail. You will not fail. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. When when you read your Bible, when you read your Bible in the book of uh, Ephesians 5, verse 18, the Bible says, um, all right, let me look for a vision. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine. Praise God. Amen. The Bible says, do not be drunk with wine, Amen. but be what? Sorry. Be filled with the Holy Ghost. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Be ye filled with, with the, the Holy, Holy Ghost. Ghost. But it does not end there. It is speaking to one another with spiritual soul. Amen. There is, there is a level of talking that is not verbal. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Yes, sir. Am I communicating to somebody? Amen. That's why you realize that if you have ever been intoxicated before, you realize that there is a way you will begin to sing. Amen. And all of you will be singing, and you might not talk the whole night, but as you see people singing, actually they are connecting. Amen. It is the same when men are filled with the Spirit of God. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody? Yes, sir. When people are filled with the Spirit of God, you might see them spending five hours without a conversation, but the Holy Ghost yes, sir. will be making things happening in the Spirit and interceding with groanings that cannot be uttered. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I remember we, I, I once went with people to the mountain to pray. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I love that one when I go with a crowd to the mountain to pray and so it's a sleepover and the lights might be there. A different all night where there's no comfort of chairs. Amen. <laughs> and I remember we had a two hour session that took from 12 p.m. And the only thing, as we were praying, people climbed trees. My God. Climbed trees. Some were rolling on the ground. And it did not start by anything. It was just a prayer Amen. of Holy Spirit. The same way you overshadowed Mary overshadow me and do the impossible. Amen. And he said, everybody clap your hands. Yes. And everyone said, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire, 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 Holy Ghost, fire. It seemed as if it started as something that was funny. But at the end, it gave birth to miracles that certain people, the lives they are living today was as a result of a chant that was not just a chant. Amen. Because you have to remember, when you speak in tongues, it must not be just the words you are bringing out. That's true, sir. Your mind must focus on that very same thing that you want to be fixed. Yes, sir. Are, are you That's hearing true. what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Yes, sir. I, I spoke yesterday, I think I spoke about Samson, that Samson tied the foxes and he lighted them with fire. And in natural sense, when something is lit with fire, it runs to water. But these foxes, they went to where Samson wanted them to go. Mm. They connected to the mind of Samson. He, he <laughs> when he was litting the fire, he meditated and focused that even those he was litting, they directed to where he wanted them to go. Oh my gosh. I pray that in whatever you do, it might be your finances. May it be directed to the right place. Amen. May your destiny be directed to the right place. Amen. May your prayers point to the very same thing that needs to be fixed. Amen. In Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. Amen. Just celebrate God in Jesus' name. Glory, glory. We give you praise, Jesus. All right. Hallelujah. Somebody say, I'm in charge. I'm in charge. Hallelujah. I, I, I wanted to get a time where 
we 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 were going to have a lecture and uh I'm, I'm 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 writing but i think i left my marker but we are going to get into the word praise god Amen. look at john by say building building a generational a generational inheritance inheritance building building a generational a generational inheritance inheritance uh, hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah praise the lord i want you to go to the book of psalms i want you to go to the book of psalms psalms chapter number 13 verse 22 psalms chapter number 13 verse 22 the Bible says, a good man leaves an inheritance to his children's children. A good man leaves inheritance to his children's children. That scripture is loaded because Solomon is defining what he calls a good man. <laughs> the definition of a good man to Solomon. Proverbs 13.22. Praise God. And you go down with it. Proverbs 13.22. Solomon is saying a good man is a man who as he lives his focus is not on him. His focus is on those to come. Do you know that you live, you work differently when your mindset is on working even on those that are not yet born. When you know that generations depends on your success, the way you work becomes different. When you know that generations to come, you are the foundation, the way you live your life is different. That is one of the things that makes me to wonder and that is one of the things that disciplines me. That is one of the things that makes my mind not to rest. Because I understand there are many people that if I do not make it, they will die without ever testing their deliverance to life. There are people that if I do not make it, they will die without even living a life that they said I tasted an ice cream. So the way I live and my focus is different. When I look at life, I look at life with a different perspective. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. So one of the things about God is that God is generational oriented. God is generational oriented. God does not live in the now. That is why God blesses people that have a mind that is generational. If you want to live a life, if you want to, 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 to see the blessing of the Lord in you, carry a vision that is beyond you. Am I communicating to somebody? Yes, sir. Am I communicating to somebody? Yes. As long as it is about you being blessed, let me be honest with you, you always have sustenance. But the moment you want to be 
a blessing. God will bless you to become a blessing. May you rise to a dimension where you become someone's answered prayer. May God bless you to a dimension where you become somebody's answered prayer. Amen. That somebody in your family will say, if it was not of that man, if it was not of that lady, my life would not have become what it has become. And that kind of a prayer moves God. Knowing that you have taken the responsibility that is his on earth. Michael, we hearing somebody. Yes, so when you read your Bible, you realize when you go to the book of Genesis chapter number 12. When you go to Genesis chapter number 12, verse number 1. God begins to speak to Abraham. God says to Abraham, come out of your father's land. And go to a land which I shall what? Show you. Which I shall what? Show you. Which I shall what? Show you. And in that land, there is something that I'm going to do. I am going to bless you. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Praise God. Amen. I will bless you and I will make you a great nation. And I will make your name great. And thou shalt be a blessing. Amen. I will bless those that bless you and curse those that curse you. Jesus. And in you, families shall be blessed. Amen. Now, that scripture can be a common scripture to someone who does not go in depth to understand what God is trying to say. The first thing that God had to do was to remove Abraham from an environment to tell him, hear me, every person who is to live a life that is different has to move from somewhere. Being stagnant is a heartache. So there are certain people that are always busy, not because they want to be busy, but because inside them there is a programming that you are going far. Amen. So they can't sit still. Amen. You can see a child, even when they are young, that this one is going far. Am I communicating to somebody? Am I communicating to somebody? So God said to him, I will bless you. Now, there are three things that the blessing will do, as the Bible says. Number one, in the blessing, God said to Abraham, I will make you a great nation. Now, you realize that the blessing of Abraham, there is a part of the blessing of Abraham that a lot of people have not gotten to a place where they have dissected or they have really studied added or gotten in depth because most of the times we pray about certain things but because we have not really gotten in depth what happens is we pray from a shallow perspective God says to Abraham I will make you not you make yourself so what God is saying to Abraham is when the blessing comes it will not be about you. It will not be about your effort. When the blessing comes, I will make you. The same way, the same way you see a potter molding clay. The same way a welder can make a chair. God is saying, I will make you. The, I will make you, you have to understand from a thinker's perspective. I will make you can become one of the most deepest statements because it shows you that there is a template in which he has. Because no one makes something without an idea and a template of what they want to make. So it means that the 
there are processes and there is a way God would want you to become, would want you to succeed. So he says, I will make you. But I will not just make you, I will make you a great nation. There are nations, but Abraham, I will make you a nation. Do you know that in the house of Abraham, Abraham was not a country. Abraham was a nomad. But in the house of Abraham, an army was trained. Imagine in your house. An army was trained that was fighting nations in the house of Abraham. Abraham reached a dimension. <laughs> Abraham reached a dimension where he was to lend to nations. He was very rich that kings envied him. He arrived at a certain time and it's Abimelech who wanted to give him money. Gold, silver, cattle. And Abraham said, I do not want it lest you say I became rich because you gave me something. The level of the blessing of Abraham was that level where you become so sarcastic. Not sarcastic. Sarcastic. <laughs> that you know I'm becoming great no matter who is there or who is not there. Abraham knew he was going to become great. He knew God was to help him. A level where you can reject money. Because you know that the level you become great people. Do you know that when you reach a level where people will say, I was with them. I helped that person. It means you have grown beyond the level of what they did. So they have to identify with your success in order for them to be respected. Abraham said, I will not give you that credit. Because by the time I reach my place, you become a small boy. <laughs> That's not what he said. <laughs> I will bless you. I will make you a great nation. You might not know how to lead the nation. But I will make sure that in you, I will make a nation to survive. Look at this. I love this. The Bible says, I will make your name great. Do you know that in this world, everyone is trying to strive to make their name known? Many people are striving to make their name to be, to, to be spoken about. When people dress so, so classic, so classy, they want people to notice them and for their name to be branded. But the blessing that was coming on Abraham was a blessing that when it comes, he will operate in an effortless dimension. I will make you. Do you know when a name is made great, do you know what it means? You don't understand. You don't understand. When you have a name, it does not matter what you wear. Some of the clothes, some of the brains that people buy, it's not because those brains, the designs are nice. It because the name carries weight in the earthly dimension. So you buy that clothing and it has its brand. It has a brand and you buy it because of the name. So that when you identify, you see what I'm wearing. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Amen. One of the greatest evangelists who mentored me, he would say, as you see me wearing this pericardine, <laughs> your life will not remain the same. Amen. Broaden out your chest and tell the devil, I'm adoring to the glory. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. So it is the name. So there is a dimension of the blessing of God where God will make your name. 
He will put specifications, particles. He will make sure there are materials that are attached to your name. That your name becomes great. There might be every other Mary in Nazareth, but there is a different kind of a Mary. It's not about the name. It's about what has been put on the person who's carrying the name. There are days of a guy who was called Ronaldo. When he played, at, I believe it was FIFA and the, the cut. That was just here in front here. Young children, you are not yet. Uh... <laughs> he played FIFA with a cut. That by the time they finished, everybody body was removing the whole and leaving a cut here. The name. The influence of the name. That even there are children that were born, that were given the name. Said from today, you are now called what? Most of the people that were given that name drip relationships like never before. I'm going to touch on that. Praise God. Amen. A name is powerful that the Bible declares that when you read your Bible, the Bible says that and Jesus was given a name that is above every other name. Amen. He was not given any, he was given a name. What makes a lion fierce is the name. When I think it's just, just the name lion. If right now you call yourself your, your child lion or you call yourself your step changes. Just by calling yourself lion. Where I come from, there are totems. There are totems and these totems are mostly of animals. Some are lion, some are buffalo. And sometimes you can notice the characteristics. The buffalo, the, the buffalo are the code what? They are called what? Mofu. And those ones, they know that these ones called Mofu, they don't play when it comes to women. It's a spirit. And the women born in that lineage, they know that those ones, if you marry her, don't fight her, she will answer back. <laughs> if you see her hit her chest like this, <laughs> And she swears on the totem. Get ready. Why? Because the, when the name is mentioned, there is a spirit. So the spirit in a name can attract a blessing or can attract a curse. God says, as for your name, I will make thy name great. Even today, people call their children Elijah. Because they want their children to walk with God. Because somebody was carrying that name. And God put, had put value on the name. That name you were carrying, that name you are called. There is a way you can get in the presence of God. You come out of the prayer room. Your name is coated with glory. Your name is coated with weight. That even for people to call you by name, they will be shy. They will be shy to call you by name. My God, I'm getting someone. I will make thy name great. And listen to this. And families shall be blessed because of you. Let's leave those that case you are okay. It's an automatic thing. The Bible says, families shall be on the earth shall be blessed because of you. Bible says, in thee, inside him, family shall be blessed. Meaning, everybody who is to come through his blood, everybody who is to come through his name, no matter you are connected to him by blood or you just grew up in his house, you will be blessed. Michael, let me show you something. 
Genesis chapter number 70. Genesis chapter number 70. Verse 7. Genesis 17 verse 7. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Genesis 17 verse 7. <laughs> Okay, I will start from verse 6. I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. Look at what God is saying to Abraham. I will make you exceedingly fruitful. I decree over your life. If you were thinking of not making it in life, it is too late. May God make you fruitful in the name of Jesus. I will make you to be exceedingly fruitful. Oh God, make me. The reason Abraham was striving to follow God, it was no longer about him. I will make you to be exceedingly fruitful. That even if there is barrenness or trace of barrenness in his blood, by the reason that the man is alive, the barrenness has to be broken in the name of Jesus. My communicating somebody. I will make thee exceedingly fruitful. I will make nations of thee. Kings shall come out of thee. There is a way you become blessed. There is a way you can invest in this God. That everyone born of your blood, even if they do not want to make it in life. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. When they were exalting generational cases, I decree a generational blessing over your life. Where they were exalting generational cases, I command the generational blessing to Amen. overtake in the name of Jesus. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Praise the Lord. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. I will make thee, I will make nations out of thee, and kings shall come out of you. Amen. You make children, kings shall come out. There is a dimension where the children born in a certain family, by the time they are born, they are born with crowns already. Uh, you are not here, Pastor T. There is a dimension where, where, where you become blessed that every child born out of you, they come out carrying an 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 destructible, unstoppable grace. You put them in a desert, they build a city. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. You can't stop them. You throw them in the bush, they come out there leading lions. I'll, every child that shall come out of the Bible says, I will make kings out of you. Do you understand? Where in other families, children are born and they are told, you, if you are born of this family, no one will marry you. If you are born of this family, no one will, 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 will give you a job. Even Jesus, they say to him, can anything good come out of Nazareth? Because from the lineage of Jesus, from the lineage of Nazareth, anyone born, anyone born from that soil, no matter they had potential, no matter they were gifted, no matter they were talented, something would something would cover them like a cloud. That's why certain people, the moment the moment you begin to know God, run from certain places. Haven't you read about Bat Batmias? The moment Batmias was healed by Jesus. But Mias did not want to stay in, in Jericho. But Mias wanted to leave that city. And Jericho has a history. Do you know how many healings Jesus did in Jericho? And do you know the case that was in Jericho? In Jericho, there was a case that was released by Joshua in Joshua 6. So imagine that case survived for thousands of years dealing with firstborns and lastborns. The reason Batmias was blind was because he was a firstborn. <laughs> when he was healed, he said, he said to Jesus, can I follow you? He, he wanted to leave Jericho. 
It was a parable that Jesus was trying to hint them about Jericho. A man coming from church and he was beaten away. Jericho. <laughs> Say, this one, this city is not, it, it, not a normal city. Yeah. When, when you're after, after Elisha was anointed by Elijah, the Bible says he arrived at Jericho and the men of Jericho said the land is good, the land is fruitful, but it is causing what? Miscarriages. If there was, if, because they are not investigative prophetically, they will continue dying. Not understanding that this thing that is killing children, Joshua spoke a word and cursed the land. When they surrounded the city, they blew the trumpet and the walls of Jericho fell. Spoke a word. That word was to say, don't build this city again. It was the location he cursed. It was the name he cursed. The people that built the city gave the, hear me, the people that built the city named the city Jericho again. A name. The case was going on in name Jericho. <laughs> that if you name your child Jericho, <laughs> Michael Miguel in Zambia, so one needs to become very investigative. I'll make kings out of you. I'll make kings. There's a prayer I need to pray when you get into prayer. Not only for you, but for generations to come. Even children, 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 grand, grand, grandchildren, pray and begin to put a DNA in them. Begin to insert a DNA in their lives. Amen. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. You cannot fail. No matter how life will come on you, don't go down. Rise like a unicorn. No matter how much they try to clip you down, fly like an eagle. Am I communicating with somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? Hallelujah. The Bible says, I will establish my covenant between, I will, I will establish my covenant between me and thee and thy seed. After thee in their generations for an everlasting covenant to be God unto thee and to thy seed. Imagine, it is Abraham who made the relationship with God. And God is saying, my relationship with you is not ending here. So even if, even if Abraham's grandchildren become rascals, God will follow them because of their grandfather. Let me show you through scripture. Go to Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy. Deuteronomy chapter number 8, verse 18. Dethrone your enemy. <laughs> Deuteronomy 8, verse 18. But thou shalt remember thy God, for it is thee that giveth thee power to get wealth. Say power to get wealth. Ah, there is an empowering. Say, there is an empowering. That makes you to get wealth. Do you know what that means? To get it, it is a magnetized, attractive, empowering blessing. I give you power. The word power means ability to cause change. So I've given you power, the rights. The way that is, that is used on this power is called exousia, delegated authority. I've given you title deeds to the votes of wealth in life. I decree over your life by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the keys to the hidden wealth be given to you in the name Amen. of Jesus. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, may wealth be opened to your life. Amen. A, 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 a dimension where a dimension where the Bible says that <laughs> I give you power delegated the title deeds to wealth. Amen. Title deeds to wealth. You get it. When the Bible says I give you power to get wealth, it does not matter what you are selling. You get it. You, you, you didn't catch it. It does not matter where you are. You get it. Give you power. Power. Oh God, give me power to get wealth. I give you power to get wealth 
listen to this that he may establish his covenant that he swear unto thy fathers as it is this day There is a level where God, there is a level where God is still blessing people because of the prayers of their parents. Amen. And you wonder, this one is no prayer. For what's happening? Ah, you don't know where they are standing. Don't play. You don't know where they are standing. If you knew where they are standing, you would start your own. You would start your own. A good man liberty inheritance for what? children's children. My grandmother was such, my grandmother was such a, 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 a lover of God. She taught every grandchild how to bake cakes. Every day at six, at night, after she comes from work, she would call us into the bedroom. Everybody, it was called prayer brigade. Everybody, open your mouth and pray. I did not start speaking in tongues because I was prayed for in church. Ah, ah. Prayer brigade. After we pray, we were given buns and scones. She would bake some pies. We were given pies. <laughs> yeah, sometimes we would steal when she's bathing. <laughs> Who stole the pies? <laughs> Praise God. We would gather and would pray, and it was it it was it became stuck in us. Young age, five years, already praying. Yalala, brakadala, brakadakala, brak. Thirty minutes, one hour when she comes, so she now had prayer partners. Every preacher, every preacher who would come in the city would sleep at the house. Bake cakes for them. No wonder why when we began to grow, each and every one, something began to rise. Every grandchild, when you see the minister, it does not matter, it is singing, it is preaching. Everybody is like everybody, no matter they are doing business, they are a pastor. Some are even married to pastors now. My, my brother would try to be stubborn. By the time he was about to die, he was being given pulpit to preach. <laughs> when he was about to go, he turned, came back to the foundation, started preaching. That even the pastor, even the pastor in three months of coming back to church, the pastor wanted him close. What kind of a human being is this? Casting demons like this. The passion. My communication with somebody. It was generational. So sometimes even when I pray for, when I pray for certain things, sometimes when I see God use me, I know. It is not just because I pray. There are men of God that after being fed, they prayed a prayer. And that was a blessing. There are men of God that after, after they come, they sleep at the house and they are, bought, they are bought shoes or clothes, they would pray a prayer. And that prayer is sustaining us even to today. That even when diseases come, it's a lie. I can't go by a disease. I can't go by a disease. I decree over your life. May the Lord bless you and may the Lord bless those that will come after you. May you become a, a beacon for the next generations. May you become the one setting the foundations for the next generations. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. You shall remember the Lord your God for is the one that gave you power to make wealth. Thank I will you. make wealth. Amen. I will get it. Amen. I will get it. Amen. No matter where it is hidden. I will get it. Amen. Am I communicating with somebody? Am I communicating with somebody? Am I talking to somebody? Shout, I hear, I hear. I say, shout, I hear, I hear. Shout, I hear, I hear. That blessing of Abraham skipped. It went to Isaac. 
When you read your Bible in the book of Genesis chapter number 26 verse 12, the Bible says, and Isaac planted in drought and received a hundredfold in the same year. And the Lord blessed him. Another version says, because the Lord was with him. Imagine it is drought. Someone is defiling the laws of nature. Am I communicating with somebody here? I said, am I communicating with somebody here? Where everybody is crying that the economy is going down. Somebody is saying, me, I cannot go down with the economy. I cannot. The blessing Abraham, Isaac. Do you know that the blessing even went on Jacob? Let me show you a scripture you have never read before. Genesis 30, verse 27. And Laban said unto him, I pray thee, if I have found favor in thy eyes, tarry, for I have learned by the experience of the Lord that the Lord has blessed me because of you. Laban begged Jacob not to go. Say so the reason I'm seeing increase in my house is because of you. And when you read, Laban did not hear from God. He heard by a diviner. A dimension that even a sangoma who say, you see, everything you have, there is somebody who God has blessed. <laughs> you, are, you are not hearing me. A diviner told Laban that there is somebody with a blessing in your house. That's the reason you are blessed. They acknowledged that uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. This one is increased by association. There is a level you can be around people and they increase because it is you. Yeah, that scripture that says a good man, <laughs> he who finds a wife finds a good thing and obtains favor from God. When I, and I spoke about that scripture and I said, so there is a favor that do not, does not come by prayer. There is a favor that does not come by preaching. It, it, it can only come by being able to identify a good woman. There is a favor that can come upon your life by only finding what? A good woman. And there is a favor that can only be unlocked from you when you are found by a good woman. So are you seeing that something is locked in someone waiting to be unlocked and something is in someone waiting to work for someone? The blessing. The blessing. In Proverbs chapter number 10 verse 22, the Bible says, in Proverbs 10 verse 22, the Bible says, the blessing of the Lord maketh rich and adds no sorrow. It adds no sorrow. It adds no sorrow. Hallelujah. 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 So there are generational things that you have to understand as you read the, as you, as you read the Bible. When you read your Bible in the book, when you understand that there is a generational blessing and there is also the other side of generational blessings. There are also generational calamities. When you read your Bible in the book of Genesis chapter number 11 verse 28, you read to 29, you read about a man. The Bible declares in the lineage of Abraham. The Bible talks about Abraham. The Bible says these are the generations of Abraham. Some say generations of Abraham. So the Bible says these are the, uh, these are the generations of, Ab of, of terror. And terror beget Abraham and Nahov. Verse 27. And Haran. And Haran beget Lot. The Bible declares that and Haran died before his father terror. In the land of his nativity. In the eye of the Chaldeans. He was born by his father and died before his father. I pray for you by the power of the Holy Ghost. May you not die before your time. I said, may you not die before your time. He died before his father in the land where he was born. Meaning he never traveled anywhere. That thing that wants to make you in, to be in one place, I command it to be lifted from your life. That thing that wants you to be in one place in life, I command it to be lifted from your life. 
Bible says, Jesus, Jesus says, go and take that donkey that is tied in a village. That rope they tied you in a village. That rope they tied you in one place. I command that rope to be broken in the name of Jesus. There are people that are tied. And when something is tied, you can eat, but you can only eat things that are around you. Do you know what Pharaoh said to the children of Israel? He said to them, go, but do not go far. I still want to use you as my slaves. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whoever has a hold over your life, any strong man in your family, any strong man from where you are coming from, who is devising wickedness, who is causing people not to advance in life, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, be loosed from their hand. I said be loosed from their hand. I said be loosed from their hand. Lift up your voice and shout fire. Ja, 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 ja. Communicating to somebody here. I said, Am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah. Terah died before his father in the land of his nativity, meaning there was a spirit of premature death. That even when Abraham was living, God told him, Leave number one, but number two, Abraham feared death. You've never heard, no? Abraham feared death. It was a case flowing in the blood. It was a case. Before I even get there, the person who was supposed to go to Canaan where the children of Israel went was the grandfather called Terah. It was Terah who was supposed to go to the land of Israel. When you read verse number 11, you will see it. But he wandered and he got stuck at the air of the Chaldeans. It was also a wandering spirit. That even Abraham was told you go to the land, I shall show you. Abraham never built anything in Canaan. His son Isaac was moving around the desert. Jacob was moving around, went to Haran, went to Laban, went to Laban, worked for, for seven years for the first wife, duped, worked for another seven years, wandering in life. So there are also battles that are to be fought. So, Haran died before his father. When Abraham, when you read your Bible in the book of Genesis 20 verse 11, in Genesis 20 verse 11, when Abraham arrived at a, 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 at a land, at a land called uh, Egypt, in Genesis 20, verse 11, the Bible says, Abraham feared for his life. And that is when he lied that Sarah is his sister. Abraham said, and Abraham said, because I thought surely and I feared that you would slay me for my wife's sake. He lied. What was he afraid of? To be killed, to die. Isaac in the in the book of Genesis, Genesis chapter number 16. In Genesis chapter number 16, verse number 6. Isaac feared for his death. Isaac also lied and he said, I fear that you will kill me. It was a fear of death. That both the father, both the father and the son had to lie that their wives were their sisters. Because what did they fear? Death. And the wives, the wives must, must have been very beautiful. <laughs> Hallelujah. Jacob feared that Esau will kill him. Jacob, he feared Esau. Even unto old age, Jacob feared Esau. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Whatever generational battle you have been fighting in your life, I decree divine intervention. You shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. I say you shall be victorious in the name of Jesus. Any battle.
foe that was fought by your grandmother and she could not defeat it. Any battle that defeated people in your family, it shall not defeat you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. I say it shall not defeat you by the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. David declares some trust in chariots, some trust in horses, but I shall trust in the name of the Lord. For the name of the Lord is a strong tower. And those that trust upon him shall be saved. Amen. Am I communicating somebody? Amen. Am I communicating somebody? In 2 Timothy chapter number 1, verse number 5. In 2 Timothy 1, verse 5, Paul says to Timothy, Timothy, concerning the faith that was in your mother Lois and in your grandmother Eunice is now in you. Even spiritual gifts can flow. Timothy, the faith that was in your mother Lois and that was in your grandmother Eunice. It means that the faith, this one is not a faith of prayer. It is a, it is a gift of faith. That he looks at something and says it will happen and it will happen. Kabbalah, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. May the Lord God of heaven lift you from today. And may the Lord God of heaven put you in a path of generational success. By the power of the Holy Ghost. I don't know where you are and where you are hearing me from. Where they buried your destiny like they did those that came before you. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. May your destiny come alive. I said may your destiny come alive. In a family where they say nobody can never be married. I said you shall break record. I said you shall break record. I said you shall break record. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said am I communicating to somebody here? Shout I hear I hear. I said shout I hear I hear. I said shout I hear I hear. Am I talking to somebody here? I said am I talking to somebody here? David arrived at a place where his brothers had failed, where his father has failed, and David came and overcame. He was carrying an anointing that people began to say, whose son is this? May the Lord give you a certain success that people will fail to identify you from where you are coming from. Am I communicating to somebody here? I said, am I communicating to somebody here? Somebody listening to the sound of my voice. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost. Ghost. Holy May Holy the Ghost. blessing of the Lord come upon you. Amen. I say you shall be rich and there shall not be sorrow. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. The Bible declares in the book of Psalms, when you read your Bible in the book of Psalms, the Bible says, blessed is the man who worketh not in the counsel of the ungodly, yes. but his delight is in the Lord. Yes. He shall be like a tree planted yes. by the riverside. Come his on, leaves Holy shall Ghost. not wither. I Come decree on. by the power of the Holy Ghost Read. any dry season in your life in the name and the blood of Jesus it is yes. coming to an end Amen. I say it is coming to an end Amen. after today I decree may the Lord grant you fruitfulness Amen. I say may the Lord grant you fruitfulness Amen. in the name and the blood of Jesus shout yes. yes I say shout yes, yes. I say shout yes, yes. I say shout yes. Yes. Who told you you can't make it? So who told you you can't rise? Hey. Who told you you can't become somebody hey. who become of influence from where you are coming from? My God. Mm. The blessing make it rich. And it's not so. There is something from the inside of you. There is a scripture I love. When the Bible says it was not so until Deborah arose. There are things that have not been seen in your family. That will begin with you in the name of the blood of Jesus. It was not so until Deborah arose. Put your name on that scripture. There are, they are saying nobody shall buy a car. There are saying nobody shall build mansions for, for children's children. There are saying nobody shall build an inheritance. It was not so until I arose. Amen. You break the backbone of limitation in your family. Amen. You break the backbone of obscurity in your family. Amen. The Lord is taking you from the back side of life to the front side of life. Amen. Am I communicating to somebody here? Amen. You don't serve the dead. God, yes. you serve the mighty God. Amen. He's the same yesterday. Amen. He's the same today. Amen. He's the same forever. Amen. When God says, 
is lesser than a man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Fed is on your side. Lift up your voice and shout, yeah. Shout, yeah. Shout, yeah. Shout, yeah. You will break limitations in your family. Amen. Things they said you can never achieve. You will be the first one to do it. Amen. You will be the first one to do it. Amen. They said you can never buy. They said you can never do. They said you can never go. You are breaking the barrier. I said you are breaking the barrier. Break. Am I communicating somebody? Amen. In the book of Jeremiah chapter number 8, the Bible says, for how long shall this proverb be spoken? Jesus. That years come and go, but visions don't come to pass. Jesus. I decree. I, I, I decree. The norm in your family shall not be normal anymore. Amen. You are coming out to be abnormal. I'm coming out. I say you are coming out to be abnormal. I'm coming out. You might not have the house today, but you are going to be having houses. Amen. You might be at a place where you feel you are limited in life, but you can't be limited. Oh, you Jesus. cannot say the so big God, God so and die small. Amen. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to leave the power of God in my life. I refuse. I refuse to limit the potential of God in my life. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse. I refuse to 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 belittle God because of what I'm going through. I refuse. The same God who took Abraham from a place where he was a nobody to becoming a father of many nations. He will do it for you in the name of Jesus. The same God who took Esther. Esther from becoming, she was was an orphan and a housemaid. She became a queen. He will do it for you in the name of the blood of Jesus. The same God who took Joseph who was in prison from Prison to the palace, he will do it for you in the name of Jesus. The same God who took a man called Daniel, who was a slave in Babylon, to become a vice president, he will do it for you in the name of the blood of Jesus. I decree and I declare by the power of the Holy Ghost. Some have said, Can anything good come out of your life? The reason you have said it is the reason God will do it. Am I communicating to somebody? I don't know where your life is right now, but there's an acceleration happening. There is a wind of glory that is blowing. There's a wind of glory that is blowing. You are being shifted from where you were. Blow. It will not be about you. He said, I'll make you. I'll make your name. I'll make you great. I'll bless you. It won't be about you. It won't be about your connections. It won't be about who you are. There is a way God will make things. The Bible says, all things work for the good. And to them that love God, that were called by his divine predestination, look at your neighbor and say, all things work for the good. Oh, I don't know where they put the you. Good. They might have rejected you. All things will work for your good. Yeah. Isaiah says, say unto the righteous, it shall be well with them. Yeah. I decree and I declare over your life, it shall be well yeah. with you. Yeah. Am I communicating to somebody here? Yeah. I said, am I communicating to somebody yeah. here? God shall not leave you where you God shall take you to your destiny. Your children shall not die where they are. By the power of the Holy Ghost, your hands shall handle wealth. Your hands shall multiply. Your hands shall receive increase. I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, no more dryness. No more, no more dryness. No more I said no dryness. more dryness. No more I said no dryness. more dryness. No more I'm dryness. coming out I'm coming of my out. family patterns. I am out. coming out of hereditary limitations. I'm coming out, I'm coming out of generational embargoes. I'm, I'm a child of God. I carry the blessing of God. Yes. The devil is a liar. Yes. And Jesus is the Messiah. Yes. I am blessed. I am favored. I am lifted. I am glorified. In the name of Jesus, child of God, may the light of God shine.
shine over your life. I say, may the peace of God shine over your life. Amen. In the name of Jesus, Amen. I decree and I declare as you come out of this place, wherever you shall go, may people favor you. Amen. I say, may people favor you. Amen. I say, may people favor you. Amen. You shall enter I into offices just that visiting and they'll grant you an opportunity. I say, you shall enter into, you shall meet certain people at the same place. They shall favor you. Amen. You shall become likable. You shall become attractable. Amen. You shall become desirable. Amen. The small things you do with your hands, go to amplify your effort. Amen. I say, go to amplify your effort. Amen. I say, go to amplify your effort. Amen. Lift up your voice and shout, yeah! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Shout fire! Fire! Stand up if you can. Father, we thank you. Le rola la barush kataya. Ze bakonata matakule boros kata. Father, in the name of Jesus, Amen. we speak the blessing that make it rich and there's no sorrow. Amen. Our lives are being changed. Amen. Our lives are being transformed. Amen. Our lives are being changed. Amen. Our lives are being transformed. Amen. We will not be the same again. Amen. Lord, we know beyond any doubt. Amen. The Bible says your plans are not to harm us. Amen. Your Bible says in the book of Jeremiah, for my plans are not to harm you. But they are to prosper you and to give you an expected end. Amen. Harm shall not be our portion. Amen. Struggle shall not be our portion. Amen. Battle shall not be our portion. Amen. But we shall prosper. Amen. And have an expected end. Amen. Thank you for your blessing this day. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Somebody give a shout unto God. <laughs> give a shout, give a shout, give a shout unto God. Hallelujah. Praise God. I pray that the Lord blesses you. I pray that may the Lord God of heaven visit you. And I pray that may you begin to experience divine solutions. You might have been trying with your strength. Trying with your abilities. May you begin to see God do it for you. May God make you. May God make you. May God make you. Where others are putting effort and resources May God make you. Amen. May God make you. Amen. Because you are anointed and chosen, your own story shall be different. Amen. Your own story shall be different. Amen. Your own story shall be different. Amen. God shall give you one solution that shall elevate you. Amen. God shall give you one solution that shall make people to like Amen. you. Amen. The Bible says, and God said to Abraham, in the blessing there is a clause in the contract. That I will bless those who bless you. Amen. And I will kiss those who kiss you. Amen. May those that do you good see good. Amen. May those that wish you harm see harm. Amen. The Bible says those that dig the pit shall fall into their pit. Amen. Those that try to trap you, I decree by the power of the Holy Ghost, may they dig that pit for themselves. Amen. May they dig that pit for themselves. Amen. David says they gather to eat my flesh, but oh God, may they eat their flesh. Amen. I decree what they plan against you, like Haman it will be upon them. Amen. When they plan to destroy you, they will destroy their own self. Amen. By the power of the Holy Ghost. Amen. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. May you no longer sweat. Yes, sir. May it be by grace. Amen. I say, may you no longer sweat. Amen. May it be by grace. Amen. As I wipe the sweat off my face, I decree, may your own gatherings May your own acquirings, yes, may your own building from this day not be by sweat. Amen. May it be by favor. Amen. May it be by grace. Amen. Like what the Bible says in Proverbs 10 verse 22, the blessing maketh rich Amen. and adds no sorrow. Amen. There shall not be any sorrow again. Amen. May the Lord make you. Amen. May the Lord make you. Amen. I said, may the Lord make you. I receive. As you are going to be praying tonight, your prayer must be, oh God, make me. Make me, Lord. Make me. Make me. Even if you are going to make that prayer, the, 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 the prayer for the rest of your life, pray that prayer. Yes. With even the scripture that I've preached, 
if God made Abraham, he can make you. Amen. He can make you. Amen. Solomon, he did not do anything to, to be where he was. God said, I will give you all the wealth and the wisdom. Amen. May God make you. Amen. God bless you. God be with you. Hallelujah. Let us meet on other services. We are giving their details that are online. I pray that the Lord blesses you as you are giving. It's your offering. You receive your tithe. I speak the blessing of the Lord. May the Lord rebuke the devourer for your sake. I pray on every tither. The hand of the Lord is upon you. I decree and I declare. May finances come even from places you never worked for. Amen. May people bless you. Amen. May people favor you. Amen. May what you have in your hands increase rather than depreciating. Amen. May what you carry with your hands increase rather than getting lost. Amen. I pray by the power of the Holy Ghost. You will not waste on things that do not matter. Amen. God said in the book of Isaiah, come by without money. Mm -hmm. There is a blessing in God that the Lord shall give you resources you have not worked for. Amen. The Bible says you shall live in houses you have not built. Amen. I pray for you. Even if you have a house, may the Lord add more. Amen. Houses you have not built, may they be put into your Amen. Life. I say may there be a portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. I say may there be a portion in the name of Jesus. Amen. In the book of in the book of Isaiah 40, the Bible says that kings shall be your foster fathers. Yes, sir. And Amen. queens shall be your nurses. Amen. May that be your portion. Amen. The people in place of authority shall love you. Amen. They shall like you. Amen. They shall love you. Amen. They shall like you. Amen. They shall favor you. Amen. And they shall bless you. Amen. In Jesus' name. God I bless receive. you. God be with you. In Jesus' name. In Jesus name.